I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now. Time ran out for American journalist Stephen Sotloff. An ISIS knife man warned he would be next to die in a propaganda video two weeks ago that showed the beheading of fellow reporter James Foley. The life of this American citizen, Obama, depends on your next decision. Intelligence experts in Britain and the US are analyzing the images. Several clues the two videos were shot several days apart. In the first, Sotloff shaven headed. In Tuesday's release, he has stubbly hair and beard. Another signpost, the black clad jihadi refers to US airstrikes on ISIS positions around the Iraqi town of Amali. Bombing raids near Amali took place late Saturday, early Sunday indicating Sotloff was executed within the last three days. Unmistakable similarities in the apparent executioner. In both videos, same black uniform, ski mask, similar height and build. Same double-edged combat knife brandished in his left hand. And then that accent. A forensic linguist consulted by CNN says the voice sounds the same in both videos, probably from a multicultural neighborhood of London. In the first video released on August 19th... Any attempt by you, Obama, to deny the Muslims their rights of living in safety under the Islamic Caliphate will result in the bloodshed of your people. An excerpt from the second video released Tuesday. You, Obama, have yet again, through your actions, killed yet another American citizen. So just as your missiles continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. I ask you to please release my child. Words of hate that bear no comparison to a mother's love. Her last ditch plea to the kidnappers. Testimony of a life cut short. Stephen is a loyal and generous son, brother and grandson. We miss him very much. We want to see him home safe and sound and to hug him.